Venturing outside her flat in Leeds is still a novelty for Rizwan Rashid, who's been shielding since March following a stem cell transplant. Despite the government advising it's now safe for her to gather in groups of six or more outdoors, she's not ready to change her behaviour. I don't understand the logic behind it. I've decided that I'll just carry on as I have been. Um, so, in effect, shielding for me will still exist um, until I feel comfortable enough um, and confident enough that it will be safe for me to go out. And those concerns are completely valid, according to the Anthony Nolan Trust, which supports people with blood cancer. The virus hasn't changed. It's still exactly the same as it was in March and in April about how it's transmitted. So stay shielding after the 1st of August, where it's been really clearly uh, defined and advised by your transplant team. There are 2.2 million people on the government shielded list, and they're not all lucky enough to have this kind of open, quiet space on their doorstep. And the toll of staying indoors every day since March is clear, with 36% of the shielded population saying their mental health has got worse. That's something Linda Strudwick understands. She takes immunosuppressant drugs for psoriatic arthritis and thinks government support should remain for people who want to continue shielding after the 1st of August. The 1st of August is an absolute cliff edge. They're not, they're not going to get the government food parcels, they're not going to have the local, local authority support. So, and we haven't really been, or I haven't been convinced, um, why things have changed, because the virus is still out there. A Department of Health spokesperson said the latest evidence shows that the chance of encountering coronavirus in the community continues to decline. This has allowed for the relaxation in guidance we have outlined. Support remains available from NHS volunteers and local councils after the 1st of August. There's been much talk of the new normal now that lockdown restrictions have eased for the majority. But for many people who've been shielding, the next few months mean more of the same but with less support. Sally Hurst, BBC Look North, Leeds.